What's going on guys? So, got another episode for you here today, or I guess upload where you want to do. Trying to do a, well, an upload a day for you. I saw a couple comments said people like this, so I'm gonna try and stick with it. It's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to do, but I kind of enjoy it and it kind of gives me like a challenge. Um, just a reminder, this is not the only thing I do. I work all day and then come home and do this. You know, I wake up at whatever, 4.35 in the morning, get home now, it's like 5.30 now. Um, then I'll grind my ass off to get as much stuff done and take as much video as I can, try and edit, upload, and then, yeah, you guys get to see everything. So I'm gonna try and do that here as fast as I can and then go from there. But I did get one thing in the mail today, which I'm excited about. I received a package from Powerhouse Racing here. Um, I'm not sure what's in it. Actually, no, I do know what's in it. This is my diff bushing removal. So this is the tool. So let's go ahead and open it. Why am I talking about it when I can show you guys? I'm an idiot. So let's go ahead and take my, my super fancy craftsman tool here and open it up. Ooh, even comes in another box. It comes in a box because of a box. Very impressed with Powerhouse Racing on this. This is very well packaged. And I didn't expect this to come. I'm not sure if this is spray bomb or whatever. I'm assuming it's just spray bomb. Yeah, it looks like it. But this is actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. What's good? Let me get this down on the ground here. What is this tool exactly? Well, what this tool does is it draws in and removes the diff bushings that go in the back of the frame itself. Now this won't work for the ears on the diff itself, but this will work for the bushings that go in the back of the diff um, in the frame itself. So what this does is it uses these two grade eight bolts, which are freaking massive. I didn't realize they'd be that big, which is a good thing. Um, and actually uses this to draw it out into this cup, kind of like I did with my shifter bushings. It's the same style concept, except this is a much bigger and needs a lot more umph to it to get it out. Uh, and this can also uh, pull in the new one. So this will pull them out using this one, and this is what I'll use to pull in the new ones. Pretty simple concept, but I needed something to do it. Uh, the price wasn't too bad in this, so I decided, well, if I have another friend come over, or I don't know, I'm getting into working with supers more and more, so... I kind of figured that this would be a good investment in itself just to have. So got this from Powerhouse Racing, should be a nice little tool. But for today, I'm not going to do that. Today we're gonna to start the true drivetrain removal. So I need to remove part of the exhaust, I need to get the drive shaft out, and if I can, I'd like to remove the bolts on the diff itself and start to drop the diff out. Um, I just wanna get it out, see if I can get the rubber bushings off it, start taking a look at it, et cetera. One thing I do probably sh need to do though is probably drain all the fluid out of it first and the transmission fluid needs to be drained. Um, I haven't done that and oof, I don't think I've ever actually drained the fluid in the diff now that I think about it. Eesh. Oh well, it's all NA stuff, but uh, oh no wait, yeah I did, I flushed everything. I forgot when I first got the car, I paid the phone to flush the transmission and everything because I wanted to make sure it was good. The transmission and diff have never given me an issue, so now that I think about it, I paid to have them flush it. I paid, uh, not Jiffy Lube, one of the local places or whatever, no, fuck Jiffy Lube, I'll never take my car there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the stuff out of here and see how this goes. You wish me luck. So hopefully you can hear me well enough, but what I need to do is remove this V-band clamp right here. Uh, I need to rip this out. I'm not sure. Not sure if you guys can see either. The transmission's a little crusty. Well, it's old. Um, it just needs replaced. I need to upgrade everything. So going to replace that. Need to take out this mid pipe. Probably have to take out the back section. Well, no, this will probably rotate itself out of the way. Honestly, probably won't have to do a whole lot with that. Um, Got to pull the drive shaft out here, which will be simple enough, and then drop the diff out, which I've never done that. So that should be interesting trying to pull that out. So let's go ahead and start doing this. It's hard doing this under the car, by the way. If you guys can see me right now, this is not exactly the most comfortable thing in the world. I keep pushing off getting a lift, even though I had the concrete floor poured specifically to have a lift. So yeah, I need to stop procrastinating and really get that. Damn it, and I just hit my head again. So yeah, I need to get that done like now. So let's go ahead and rip this apart and see how it goes. All right, went ahead and got out the drive shaft and the mid pipe here. Um, pretty easy, it's just, it's a pain ass to do by myself. Uh, it's kind of hard getting this stuff down. I have to use my chest, so it's kind of nice that I do have it down on jack stands at times because I have something to rest it against. If I'm doing it above my head, I don't really have the tools to do something like that. So, yeah, so this is all out now. That shouldn't take me much longer, but now I gotta drop the rear diff so I can put this big boy in. Um, what I wanted to show you guys also, hoping you guys can see it. If you look up here, you can see there's one diff bushing in there and the other side just a plain hole. 
on the non-turbo Supras and on the non-turbo SC300s, which were all non-turbo in the US, they only came with one bushing like that. So I right now have nothing in that hole and I will here when I go to add the FIGS engineering bushings. But I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Some people didn't believe me, so there's only one bushing in the non-turbo rear assembly here. So I need to pull this out and drop the diff. I gotta figure out how to get them bolts out. Um, I'm assuming those are not gonna be easy by any stretch of the means, so I'm gonna try spinning those and see how this goes real quick. Okay, so I was able to get out the bolts for the rear diff, but I wasn't able to pull it tonight. Just don't have the time for it tonight. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I destroyed this little thing. I don't think it was meant to take the torquing that I put on it. And yeah, I snapped it. I can see where it cracked. So that's done. I'm gonna have to buy a new one of these. So to finish removing it, I'm gonna need a new tool now. Uh, don't expect much out of this, considering I bought, I think, for like five bucks from Kmart from their cheap Evolve Craftsman series. So that'll come out tomorrow night. I uh, was kind of hoping to get that out tonight, but I usually only give myself about an hour to an hour and a half to work on the car at night, then edit videos, and I got to try and record in between all that. So yeah, um, sorry about that, guys. I wanted to get it out for you, so hopefully I can get that out tomorrow night, get that dumped, and then pull the transmission out. So tomorrow will be Friday. I might not be able to work on it much tomorrow night because I got to take my wife out for a date, date night tomorrow night. So. Hopefully I get it all out, but parts are trickling in as you saw. I talked to Miguel today. He said my clutch should be here soon. I should be able to get that in relatively quick. Once I get the bolts for the flywheels, what matters to me, at least I can start literally putting things back on as soon as I take it out. Um, I already have the flywheel, so as soon as I get the bolts, I'll put some Loctite in those. You wanna make sure that that never backs out ever. Um, and then get it in. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention, guys. I showed you that I installed this W58 shifter onto my R154. One thing I did find out now from looking on the super discussion pages and stuff on Facebook, apparently I can use the V160 short shifters. Now, the lockout gear on the V160 I won't be able to utilize, obviously, because, well, I don't need one for this transmission. But I can use that, and it'll give me the shorter throws, and I don't have to worry about it. Um... So yeah, I think I might actually go ahead and get those. They have them on eBay for like 40 bucks. I, don't, I mean, there's nothing to a short shifter. I mean, there just, there just isn't. There's not like much to it. So I'm not sure if I should spend the money for a nice one or not. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can explain the difference to me because I'm not sure what you all get me. It's just a piece of metal. I'm not sure that, what the difference is between those expensive ones or not. Um, it's just an R154. No rever reverse lockout needed. Maybe you guys can give me some insight here. I'm not sure why these things cost so much. Like a C short shifter new for the V160 was 550 bucks back in the day. Now they go for like a thousand bucks and people pay it. Even the new sucker punch that makes for the V160 is like 550, $500. So maybe you guys can give me some insight on why they cost so much. But I'd like to get something to put on here. I just, I'm not sure what to put on it. Uh, I was gonna, like I said, use an eBay one, but I want something so it makes, I wanna make sure it feels like it's clicking into each gear, almost like a gated shifter out of the old Ferrari F40 and stuff. I really like that. Or the Lamborghini Gallardo had something of that nature too. So maybe you guys can give me some help with that because I don't, I'm not sure if this is gonna make me happy enough just using the W58 shifter. I might just have to use it for now, but if I can go ahead and throw it on before I even get the car and everything installed, I'd be happy. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this video. As usual, thank you very much. I still have shirts for sales, guys. Um, if there's anything you need, um, I'll actually post up a picture right here. Yes, you guys seeing this bootyful picture right here right now. Um, well, let's go back. Uh, that was Ron's beautiful girlfriend. She they took that picture for me. I figured I'd share with you guys. Uh, Ron gave me the permission to put it up, so I said, why not? Uh, anyways, guys. Anything else you need, hit me up on my Facebook page, Pure Function Engineering, or hit me up on my Instagram, which is Pure Function Underbar, or underscore. Uh, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.